안녕하세요 테니입니다 What I'll be talking about today is actually something I've struggled with for about 2 months but I was able to get back on track So in today's video I want to take you through my step by step process of how to stay committed to your study plan How can we keep our commitment? The number one thing that I highly suggest is that you should make it a priority Make it important If you want to learn how to create a realistic study plan I already made a video on that and I would highly recommend that you check it out and it's going to save you a whole lot of stress and headache. The second one is theme your days. Decide what days you are available to practice your grammar, what days you are available to listen to podcasts, what days you are available to revise your vocabulary, what days you are available to go through, you revise everything you've done, for how long you've studied. I've never fully understood your grammar until today. I'm really happy I am so glad I finally understand I'm going to put it on the screen and also on my Instagram post because like, it makes me happy. For me, I know that on Tuesdays I have to film YouTube videos, on Wednesdays I have to edit it and also on Fridays and then on Thursdays and Saturdays and Sunday and Monday. I know those days I can do other things that I want to do. Third one is to exercise your will. Find something that you can do and you know that it's achievable. Something that you know you can accomplish. For example, if you know that you want to study talk to me career level one in 30 days, that's something you can achieve so that you will not feel too overwhelmed. And when you don't like fulfill or you don't stay committed to it, you would not feel bad. The next one is time yourself using an app called a tracker or your phone timer. So right now I'm actually timing myself. So this is the starting time now that I'm starting the video. Some of you might be wondering, then why do I need to time myself? A very good question. It helps you know how much time you invested and also whether you achieve your goal or not. If you plan to study for like 30 minutes today and you'll be only able to study for 20 realistic time so you know that okay 10 minutes maybe you're going to like add it to the ones you're going to do the next day or the next or the following day so that you actually like know that you're investing the time because if you're not studying for um for the amount of hours that you actually said you want to study not deceiving anybody actually like you know yourself because you had one who wrote two hours and is studying for one hour and also if you're doing it the other way around you're doing, it, you're doing it the opposite way the results will show because ladies and gentlemen Results don't lie. Definitely you want a good result. That's why you're watching this video. I know for a fact. Fifth one is to have a second plan or a plan B. Guess what you plan for yourself doesn't get done or something. So you want something that you can do. For example, you decided that you want to like study today and then family friend comes over and you probably wouldn't want to study because you obviously have to entertain the person. Just make that day your like rest day or whatever the, the day you're not doing any studying and then the day that is meant to be for work for resting rather then you can use it to actually study if you have someone to practice with cool if you don't have anybody to practice with still cool having someone to practice with is not really something that you, everybody can be able to do however there's an app that allows you to like relate with other people the only thing is just that i don't really know much about the app Maybe if I know more about it, I can let you guys know how it works and everything about the app. So the next part of this video, what if I don't keep to my commitment? The first thing is that many people will feel discouraged, they will feel frustrated and they'll be like, whatever, like this doesn't work or something like that. And they'll just go back to like being unproductive or going back to where exactly they were before. My first advice to you is to take total responsibility for it. Accept the fact that you didn't read for as many hours as you wanted to read. Or you didn't listen to the podcast that day that the day you missed that podcast or the grammar point that you promised yourself that you're going to like do you did not do it also assess the situation like how did you become unproductive at that point i feel like if you know what exactly was going on at that point you actually know how to redirect your steps or how to like do things just like get back on track it could be stress, it could be work, it could be school life and everything. I know that every Sundays I like to watch wrestling. Don't blame me. And on my previous study plan, I wrote that I was going to like speak in Korean for five minutes every Sunday. Then I realized that for the past two weeks, I've not actually done it because on Sunday is the day where I usually watch wrestling. Now I rescheduled my time. I've not placed that same day that I would like use for, you know, speaking in Korean to Saturday because now it's much more accomplishable. My next thing to do is that you need to do a trade-off. Let's say for example, you started listening to a podcast 
last week Saturday, but he couldn't accomplish that because of something that happened. Then you can decide to listen to two podcasts on Saturday instead of one that you usually do. Another thing about trade up, like I said, is that you may need to like do much more work in order to fill in for the days that you were unproductive. And the final thing is to start all over again. It's not, it's not like a sin if you are not committed or if you're not productive. There is nothing bad in doing that. You can definitely start from the beginning. You can start all over again. No, but there's no late comma anyway. As I round up this part of the video, I wanted to say one more thing. Where exactly is it in your life or whether in your studies that you need to stay committed? Probably you need to like restructure your goals. If you decide to be committed, you feel much more fulfilled and you feel much more like your goals have been accomplished and also you feel good. Wherever you decide to be committed, let it show in your contribution, meaning your action. And hopefully it really helps you in to be more productive, stay committed to your goal. If you're able to watch till this part of the video, comment down below your reaction, just one emoji that shows how you feel after like listening to everything I've said. And I hope this video helped you so much. I hope you guys enjoy this one. And I would love to see you in my next video. Tell me about you guys. Bye. <laughs>